The Christmas holidays is a part of Western society we all associate with plenty of relaxation and free time. Aside from all those jarring family gatherings, of course. It's my house! 2020 has been a year where plenty of great and long-awaited games have been finally released. Last of Us 2, Ghost of Tsushima, and Cyberpunk 2077, just to name a few. And while all of you have been planning on playing these big titles, here at Noodle Shot we decided to suggest top 5 games to play over Christmas that you can never find time for. Number 5. Tell me why ain't nothing but a heartache. Okay, stop. Tell me why is the latest entry from the creators of Life is Strange. The game takes us to the fictional town of Delos Crossing in Frosty, Alaska, where the twins, Tyler and Allison, meet to rebuild their bond and understand their past after years of separation. What is unique about this game is that for the first time in the history of mainstream gaming, the main character is a transgender person played by August Black, who is also transgender himself. Damn, you look like a real man. So do you, Sam. You know what I mean. I'm just trying to be me. It's just who I am. The game illustrates not only the problems and challenges experienced by transgender people, but also touches on the issues of depression, anxiety, and difficulties with accessing therapy. Tell Me Why resembles more an interactive film rather than a typical video game. For people who are used to fast-paced gameplay, this form can be quite boring. Also, the realistic visuals need a lot of improvement. However, if you manage to get over some dull moments and technical shortcomings, you will experience an intriguing and emotional story with a bittersweet ending, and moments for reflection. Number 4. Death Stranding The whole wide world will be yours to explore. You'll be able to go wherever you want. Death Stranding, with its baby in a jar, has occupied our YouTube ads for months, while the confusing trailers and complicated story plots explain nothing. The game is set in a hostile, post-apocalyptic world, in which people are forced to hide in underground bunkers. And many of those who played it agree that this is simply a game about walking. Freezing. Although initially taunted as a flop, Kojima Productions stated that the game had already turned a profit ahead of its PC release. But undoubtedly many of you haven't played this 8 out of 10 masterpiece. The story is strange and convoluted but utterly fascinating, and the gameplay sneaks up on you and becomes addictive. Yet the best thing about Death Stranding is the sense of gratitude and community you get from benefiting from the structures others have built up once you connect to the network a few hours into the game. The false ending is haunting, and the real ending is priceless and tear-jerking. If you are willing to play an imperfect game with bold ideas, this is a piece of art ready to go big or go home. Number 3. Ori and the Will of the Wisps Ori is an absolute gem. You were very likely to have missed this in the crowded release window it was a part of. Once again, we play the role of the title character Ori. This time, the young spirit goes outside the Nibble Forest to discover its true destiny. With its beautiful art design, its fantastic and classic gameplay, and a touching story, it makes for the perfect escape from the bleak reality we are trapped in at the moment. Ori and the Will of the Wisps is a sensational Metroidvania game that gets stuck in your head for a long time in every possible way. Playing this in bed on the Switch after a draining day with your extended family, absolutely priceless. Number 2. Hades Hades has certainly not gone unnoticed by the gaming community, but its sales figures, though successful for an indie game, are nowhere near the likes of a big franchise title. We at Noodleshot simply can't stand by such an injustice, and will bat for this masterpiece until the end of time. So, where do I start? Hades is the roguelike to end them all. Varied, gobsmackingly beautiful, with a fantastic story that gives meaning and acknowledgement of every death. Also, most importantly, I can send you home the painful way. What'll it be? It's just freaking fun. I'll have to go with the painful way. It's not a short game, and it can kick your ass at the beginning, but once you realize death is the mechanism used to reward you for your troubles, and you see how your foes get progressively more annoyed in the afterlife, something just clicks. Hades is an absolute must play for anyone calling themselves a gamer. Number 1. Persona 5 Royale Persona 5 Royale combines a beautiful artistic vision with a mature and engaging story that is attractive both for the veterans of the Persona series as well as those only now starting their adventure with this brand. You play as a silent hero, nicknamed Joker, who was sent to Tokyo under probation after he accidentally messed with the wrong people trying to save a woman from possible rape. 
Condemned by society for having a criminal record, we travel to Metaverse, the universe from the collective unconscious, to repair human hearts. Tell me, who is going to avenge her if you don't? Forgiving him was never the option. You're right. No more holding back. The game talks about hidden human desires and brutality of the world around us. Sexual harassment, physical violence at school, suicide attempts, or the greed of authorities. These are only some of the problematic issues addressed by the game writers. This place is a tomb. I'll die here. That's right. Die! Don't come near me! Don't, don't just stand there! Don't Say something! Help me! Atlas's latest masterpiece has scared many with its long runtime of 100 plus hours. Still, if you manage to get over the fear of the lengthy commitment, the gang of Tokyo teenagers fixing the world will introduce you to one of the best JRPGs ever made. What a show -off. That's it on our take for the top 5 games to play over Christmas. Don't forget to like and subscribe all our videos on Noodle Shot, all jokes aside, do make time for your family, especially in these troubling times. We hope you play and stay safe. <laughs>